Hi everyone, Michael here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the devastating situation that is going on in Turkey right now and how Turkey's unraveling economy is a warning for us all in the West. And for those of you that don't know what's going on, Turkey is going through some of the worst inflation we've ever seen. They're doing some very unconventional monetary policy like lowering interest rates and their president saying this will reduce inflation. And as you'll see in a moment, you'll see how devastating inflation can really be if it's not put in check and put in check immediately. And like I said, this is a warning for us all in the West that we need to hold our leaders accountable because if they don't act on the inflation that we're seeing now that is being manipulated, that is at least double the official CPI numbers, we're going to face this same fate. Turkey is in economic turmoil. People are queuing for bread, cutting back on meat, and are even fleeing to other countries. Why? Inflation, which currently stands at more than 21% according to government statistics. The US inflation rate, by comparison, is at a 39-year high of 6.8%, nearly twice as much as a global average of 3.5%. Where everyone, can you see 21% inflation? That is absolutely crazy. But, as we'll get into a little bit later, the real inflation is at least double that. And like they said, the US is facing 6.8% official CPI inflation, nearly double the global average. But our leaders aren't doing anything like what they didn't do in Turkey. And this is what's gonna happen if they don't act now. Unlike the US, Turkey is an emerging market. It's seen two decades of broad economic growth and an expanding middle class, but now the lira is in free fall as the country reckons with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's unorthodox economic approach, which is contrary to widely accepted inflationary wisdom. So the lady says here, and this is how it affects real people's lives and how it is going to affect us in the West is people are going to sleep and literally waking up the next day and prices are going up. And what caused this? Like they said, it was unconventional monetary policy. And what's happening right now in the US? Nobody's calling out the Federal Reserve saying that their money printing is what's leading to inflation. They're all saying it's supply shortages. That's the reason, and that's the only reason. Central banks around the world respond to a stronger than expected pickup in inflation amid economic recovery from the pandemic. There are lessons to be learned from Turkey's approach. In a nutshell, to prevent the economy from overheating, central banks can increase the cost of borrowing by raising interest rates, which curbs the rate of inflation. And this is precisely what is happening in most other emerging market central banks, to great effect. And why isn't the Federal Reserve doing this? This is literally what's happening in the US right now. Emerging market central banks are starting to hike interest rates. The New Zealand central bank is starting to hike interest rates, but still the Federal Reserve is doing nothing. But Turkey's central bank has done the opposite. Under pressure from President Erdogan, who has invoked a religious prohibition on usury in his argument against high interest rates, the rate has been cut three times since mid-September, which has torpedoed the value of the lira. Spoon myself here. Look what's happening to the Turkish lira versus the dollar. Now, the only reason why the dollar isn't devaluing like this is because it has world reserve currency status. But like all empires that held world reserve currency status, it doesn't last forever. So as soon as the US loses the privilege of world reserve currency status, like what the World Economic Forum said it will by 2030, the currency is going to plummet. Rapidly weakened currency pushes up the cost of key imports like food and energy. This is already hurting the Turkish people's bank accounts. Panik havasındalar sürekli. Hane halkı. Biz burada çok kalabalık bir semtte bu işi yaptığımız için sürekli yastık altındaki paraları bunu kullanıyorlar. In an October survey, more than 80% of the Turkish public said the government was handling the economy badly. Turkish banks so far have been able to withstand the currency crisis. But economists are concerned that a further collapse of the lira could trigger a bank run or that Turkey could default on its foreign debts. Erdogan, meanwhile, has said he welcomes the depreciation of the lira to encourage an export-based economy similar to Japan and Taiwan. He and other officials have insisted that the currency fluctuations are temporary. 
Some economists have said that the strategy is likely to fail because inflation has put pressure on exporters, who now have to pay more for energy and raw materials. Doubt that Turkey's inflation is even at 21.3%. An independent research group estimates that in reality the figure is more than 58%. And you think this is just happening in Turkey with them underreporting inflation? No, this is happening in the US as well, with shadow stats showing the CPI is at least 15% based on the way they used to record it in the 80s. That's why it seems like they've been able to print all this money over the past three decades and there'd be no consequences because they've been fudging the numbers and manipulating the numbers. But now inflation is getting so high, even the CPI can't hide it. Investors and economists fear that Turkey's embattled economy could get worse before it gets better. So everyone, this is why I'm so passionate about inflation because as we can see, the people of Turkey are suffering deeply. And this is already starting to happen in Western countries. We're seeing the poor get absolutely devastated and the middle class by inflation. People's budgets are already on the brink. They can't afford another 7 to 10% increase in their groceries, in their energy bill, in their fuel costs, in their rental costs, in their housing costs, and some other costs are going up much more than that, 20 or 30%. But our leaders and the central banks are telling us, don't worry, it's just temporary. And they're pretty much telling us just to suck it up and bite the bullet. But really what it's doing is it's bailing out the global elites and it's bailing out the government because the US government can't really afford higher interest rates. And the global economy now runs on debt. It doesn't run on money we have now. It takes more and more debt to fuel a debt-based economy. So if they start hiking interest rates and then debt starts to shrink, well then this could actually cause, in the future, I'm not saying it's gonna happen anytime soon, deflation. And this is something the central banks and the government hate because they want to continue to lift inflation because then that means your earnings go up, that means they can tax you more to repay this crazy debt that they have. And it also devalues the debt. So what I urge you to do is share this message with your family and friends because not many people really understand inflation and how devastating it can be. But as we can see what's happening in Turkey, it can bring a country to its knees. So really, the Federal Reserve is stuck between a rock and a hard place, either lift interest rates now to get inflation under control, but then of course they're going to have to crash their precious stock market and the housing market or continue to talk and talk and say, yes, we will do something, you know, six months down the road, we'll lift interest rates by 0.25%, of course, that will get inflation under control. And if they don't lift interest rates in order to save the markets, we're going to see the poor and the middle class suffer the same fate that Turkey is right now. So everyone, that was just a quick update with what's going on with Turkey's economy and how bad inflation can get. What do you think? Let me know. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.